Hi, I'm Chris Zaharia, CTO and co-founder of Zookool, an Australian educational startup, and I'm also a virtual reality enthusiast. Today I wanted to show you something that um, we think is pretty cool that I've been working on in the last year. I've created virtual reality environments in education and other areas, um, taking use of mind control and gesture tracking. I've created uh, a few simulations in city planning architecture, surgery, uh, chemistry, and as, as well as uh, military. I'll show you some of the devices that uh, we're using in the demo. Um, this here is the Oculus Rift. It's uh, used to immerse yourself in the environment and also to track your head movements. This here is the Razer Hydra to track uh, your hand movements as well as um, interactive objects in the environment. And finally, this is the uh, Emoto VPOC, uh, brain computer interface device uh, using EEG technology. Uh, what it does is it reads your brain waves and translates those to movements or actions in the environment. First off, before I show any of the simulations, um, at the moment I've got the emotive epoch on my head. So I'll just show you the training module where um, you can train yourself to, uh, say, think of moving forward, and it would correspond with moving forward in the environment as well, or even moving backwards, uh, which is quite similar to um, speech recognition, where the more you train yourself, the more accurate it becomes. Here I'll show you an example of um, how I can use um, a training in here uh, to move myself forward in the environment just by thinking I'm moving forward. Um, let me just show you. And with the same kind of method, you can also train yourself to move backwards or in other directions as well. Um, here's, a, here's an example of a city planning architecture demo. For example, following me, I see a, a miniature city. Um, I may want to add, say, a building in this empty spot here. Yeah. So just grab this building over here. Yeah. Place it down. And for example, if I want to as an architect experience what I've created here, um, I can say shrink myself. Uh, here's an example of me uh, just shrunk and the city's right in front of me uh, as if I, I was actually there. So I'm just going to show an example of how I can pick up moving forward just to experience this for myself. And there you are. So here's an example of a military simulation or a first person shooter. Um, this example, I will use my hands to grab a weapon. Um, over here and use my forwards to move around in the environment. And with this weapon, I'll start shooting at them. And I was just moving around just using my forwards. Uh, here's a more of a medical example of a uh, surgery simulator. Um, for example, you be able to say you've got some tools, maybe operate on a person. Um, but here, we'll just show you a bit of a simpler example of, say, a biopsy where you um, just grab a part here like that. Say, if I reach any more, there's a. <laughs> got that part over there. And this is just a really basic example, but you can expand it. To you know, so many more other things, so many different uh, medical procedures. Um, and here I'll show you a little bit of a, a science uh, simulation where I'll um, just go over here, some, some few chemicals here, so zinc and iron. For example, if I grab this zinc bottle, which is a light blue color mix of the iron here. And then, just like um, in the real chemical experiments, um, you can see that it results in uh, turning the chemical iron into a yellow color. So these are just some examples of how virtual reality can be applied to um, education and gaming. And um, as these technologies get more affordable and advanced, uh, learning can take a more practical approach compared to the online courses these days. If you want to try this out for yourself as well, um, you can download it from a link in the video description. Uh, thanks for watching.